91X loudspeaker, a block of the new addiction, Faces and Riptide there. We have the band in the studio. They are here live and direct, Justin Rowland and Tony Danger. How are you guys doing? What's up, Tim? What's up, Tim? How are you doing? Um, right. I'm living the dream. I'm hanging out with the new addiction <laughs> who I haven't seen in quite some time. It's nice oh, yeah. to see you guys again. Always nice to sir. see you, man. Congratulations. New record called Filters. Is this an album or an EP? It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Explain nine. that. Ex- give, an give me an idea. Give me okay. an idea. Uh, this, is an, this is an LP in terms of uh, 2016 standards. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you. We, At least uh, you have a hard copy. Short attention spans everywhere. I a mean, lot it, of bands, you know, they kind of call a release, uh, you know, putting it up on Bandcamp. Yeah. But I think this makes it an official release. For sure. That's what how I'm it's holding, always been. Full artwork. It's a beautiful photo on the cover. R-Dub <laughs> Recordings. That's your own label. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Still what other acts it. do you have on the R-Dub label? Uh, a bunch of bands we've been working with for a while. And, um, you know, like I said, we're starting to spread our wings to uh, other artists and, you know, move along with the years. And uh, we got artists like Noel Jordan. We've worked with bands like Save Amos, Playing Without a Pilot, still messing around with a bunch of cool bands these days, and yeah. Making the music seem better. I love it. Yep, trying this to do is, it. This is the New Addiction second album. You guys said you took a little break. What happened during the break? Um, life. Life, yeah. Life, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Roland and myself had, had babies, and um, well, we didn't we didn't physically have the babies. Yeah, together. You, uh, you make course. a cute couple. Thanks, Thank man. You. <laughs> <laughs> we try to really, we try to get very quaffed for you, Tim. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and um, yeah, just life in general, like okay. work, you know, work, life, babies. Uh, I think Anthony or Tony Danger himself here has probably been doing pretty much the same thing he's been doing for the last twenty years, which is uh, just pretty much uh, researching Corey Feldman videos and <laughs> spending a copious amounts of time on BareNakedIslam dot com. You watched that live, didn't you? You watched. Corey Feldman you know live. You were so I, excited and anticipated it, and you watched it I, live. I caught it a half hour later because uh, <laughs> I woke up late. But um, yeah, I mean, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful disaster. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was uh, well said. You know, yes. I mean, hey, I like two 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 by Corey Feldman. <laughs> <laughs> I like I the said song. earlier. I think maybe if he would have just not Go for moved. It. <laughs> yeah, the, the goofy dance moves threw me well, off a little if bit. You, if you've ever seen him, I mean, if you've watched his appearance on Howard Stern, like in '92 or whatever it was, like his moves were a little crisper <laughs> back then. He looks a little ET. He's a lot. He's a little Charlie <laughs> Sheen. But um, I'm working on finding out who actually was the culprit in the whole Corey Haim fiasco. And when I find out, I'm going to break it on 91X. Let's do it. Thank you. We'll bring it back. There are some sordid stories behind those two kids um, that they were involved with, not by choice. Yeah. Uh, The New Addiction has a lot of opinions (laughs) about the (laughs) Corys. They are here hanging out. Filters is the new album. They just had the CD release party. But you guys have another big show coming up. It is In Your Neighborhood with Lou Niles at the Poor House. Yes. playing? We've got The Slashes and The Strawberry Moons. Yep. Uh, it's September 30th, next Friday. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a party up in the O. Free show. Poor house. And what makes Oceanside awesome? Come on, Tony. Uh, <laughs> the flowers. <laughs> they got really beautiful flowers, um, human and agricultural. Thank you. So, you know. Can always count on a little color from Tony Danger. <laughs> uh, dub recording artist, the new addiction, the new album is called Filters. We heard... Faces and Riptide. We're going to listen to another one. What's the website for the band? Thenewaddiction.com. That's where you get all the stuff. What's the website for the label? Uh, RWRecordings.com. If you want to check out any new music that we're working with and producing, we're you know pumping them out over there. Roland has, has made sure that we're the flagship act good. now. Yeah. I would he, hope so. Any yeah. band is, that he's yeah. in should be the flagship <laughs> band. Which is good. We had, to, we had to have a meeting with the A&R people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bit. We're, you know, we've got a bunch of cool bands, though, that we're working with, so... But, uh, we, you know, we'll flagship. Yep. Priority. I love it. Nah. Where did you guys record this? <laughs> we recorded uh, most of it on our own. So the, the album, the drums were done at Phaser Control down in, in Mission Gorge area. Um, TJ's studio. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love that guy. And then we did it most everything else ourselves. It was mixed by Ben Moore and a guy named Joe Goodwin did it out in Montana. Yeah, did the mastering. Uh, did the mastering. Yeah. So yeah, That's some, nice, some labor of love. Yeah. Nice hands on this album and really, we love Phaser Control Studios. We just did a session over there with Descendants. The yeah, other day, which was super cool. So awesome. Yeah. I'm I jealous. Some of that. That was red. That was fun. Red. And then get to see the show the next night. It yeah. Was a nice two nights with the Descendants for sure. And I can't wait to hang out with the new addiction again. I don't know if I'll make it to Oceanside, but I know my good man Lou Niles will be there. Oh, yeah. He will host and make sure you have a great night. He also DJs. So that's Friday 
at the Poor House. New Addiction will be there. Get the CD there. How much are they going to be available for at the show? Five bones. One hundred dollars. <laughs> Pretty good deal. <laughs> Financing Tony, available. Just cut that guy's mic. Five bucks. That's <laughs> that's less than ninety nine cent a song. That's a bargain. Love that. Definitely. Yeah. I'm looking at the picture on the back. What is the picture? Oh, that's a semi truck. Thank you. That, yeah, our buddy Armando Diaz. Uh, shout out to Armando. He took the, both of those photos. So those are those are real live shots that, of San that, Diego. Uh, that that photo of the truck on the back is actually from the Kurt Russell movie where they stole his wife and kid and <laughs> threw him in a dungeon. You no, remember that movie? None of that is true. Okay. <laughs> on that, that note, the fiction. new addiction will be leaving the building. Thank you guys for coming by. We're gonna listen to a track called Cornerstone. And thanks. Thanks a lot, thanks, Tim. Tim. Thanks for having us. Donkey. Good seeing you. Donkey Shane. Donkey Shane. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, Tony? Uh, no. Uh, no. Here's I the can, new addiction. I, it's 91 X loudspeaker. Give me an hour. <laughs> you just need your own podcast, man.